Today, our Life to the Max cameras take us to the border of Ontario, Canada, and New York, arguably the most famous waterfalls in the world. Niagara Falls is actually a collection of three waterfalls that straddle the border between Canada and the United States. Located on the Niagara River, which drains Lake Erie into Lake Ontario, the combined falls form the highest flow rate of any waterfall in the world, with a vertical drop of more than 165 feet. If you're wondering how this spectacle came about, the falls were formed during the last ice age, with water from the newly formed Great Lakes carving a path to the Atlantic Ocean. How's it fit? Yeah, it's really nice here. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. There is only one way to view the falls firsthand, and that is to take a ride on the Maid of the Mist, located near the Rainbow Bridge, which connects the U.S. to Canada. The Maid of the Mist Steamship Company promises to give you an up-close and personal tour of the falls. I must warn you that you will get wet, and sometimes very wet. So the blue rain jackets are a part of the ticket price, but well worth it. The Maid has been bringing people into the falls since the 1850s. Today we will be riding mist number seven. As we set out, all is sunny, and we have an awesome view of the bridge. As we get closer to the falls, we get the unique perspective of being below this raging water. The power is immense. An average of more than four million cubic feet of water flows over the crest line every minute. With that being said, the falls is a huge generator of power for both New York State and Ontario. There is a unique emerald greenish tint to the water color. That is the byproduct of the estimated 60 tons per minute of dissolved salts and rock flour generated by the erosive force of the Niagara River. The current rate of erosion is about one foot per year. And at this pace, the falls will cease to exist in 50,000 years. So enjoy while you can. Inside the misty cauldron, the view is, well, simply amazing. We all know about the daredevil attempts to go over the falls in a barrel. The first successful attempt was made by a 63-year-old woman in 1901. Annie Edson Taylor was virtually unharmed and was quoted to say, no one ought to ever do that again. As our Maid of the Mist tour heads back to much calmer waters, it was truly a unique experience to see this spectacle up close and personal. I suggest you make a trip soon because this site won't exist in a mere 50,000 years. And as you can see, it is well worth it. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.